Well, we say that our sharper potatoes are very easy to grow. You put them in the ground, you don't need to spray them, they suppress weeds, you harvest them in the autumn, uh, you keep them over the winter, they're still edible in March and April of the following season, they're just all round easy potatoes. And of course, everybody knows that they're very highly blight resistant. And that's so very important these days when blight is such a problem. Well, blight is uh, a disease which started out back in the 1840s. Uh, we know about the Irish potato famine. It's the same blight. We still have that blight. We could say it's if anything, worse than it used to be. We've got new strains of blight that uh, cause more damage and are more difficult to control. So it's actually a pathogen. It's like a fungus and it penetrates and grows inside the potato. It then produces spores on the surface of the potato foliage and these spores will dribble down in rainwater and penetrate into the soil and then you have tuber blight so that rots your tubers and anyone who's grown susceptible varieties will know what it's like in the autumn they dig the tubers and perhaps half of them will be uh, brown black patches and later they'll go soft and they'll just disintegrate in store and you think, well, growing potatoes is just a waste of time. Why should I bother? But in fact, if you grow resistant varieties, then you don't have that problem. The first one we introduced was Sharpo Mira. Now, Mira has a very high resistance in the foliage and also in the tubers, has strong virus resistance, like most of the Sharpo varieties. And this is a variety which is a late variety, meaning it's a main crop. So if you plant it during March, April time, you'll be able to harvest it any time from about August onwards. You'll find that it doesn't die down naturally, that it has to be left in the soil. You can leave it as long as you want. Uh, the frost will get it in the end, and then you can dig up your tubers. But you can start harvest in August and you'll find that uh, you've got some fully formed in August. If you leave them a bit later, you'll have a heavier crop, uh, a greater yield than if you harvest them uh, early on. So that's um, Mira. Now, Axona is another one. It's rather similar. It's red skinned and again, it has the Attributes of the Sharpo varieties, meaning um, blight resistance and virus resistance. Axona is preferred by some people for its taste. It has a good um, pronounced potato taste and uh, we recommend it along with Mira. Some people prefer one, some people prefer another but they have both the same season. They are both main crop varieties. So we have other sharper varieties that have very different characteristics. For example, we have sharper Una. Now Una is a pink skinned variety. It's an early variety. It's early in that it can be harvested in June and that will produce a smallish crop of well-formed small potatoes for eating as a new potato. But if you leave Sharpa Una for a longer period of time, then you can harvest it later in the season, in August or September, and you'll find that it produces a very heavy crop at that time of much larger tubers. One characteristic of Una, which is appreciated by some people, is that it is more waxy and suitable for salad uses rather than for baking or for roasting. So it's uh, got a lower dry matter, meaning that it is a firm potato on cooking. It's good for sauté, 
It's good for uh, cook, cooking and eating cold as in a salad. We have another variety we call Blue Danube. Now Blue Danube is a bit different. It has a very bright blue purple skin and it has very beautiful flowers. If you're into growing vegetables among your flowers in the flower garden then Blue Danube is a very good choice. It has uh, slightly less blight resistance but nonetheless it can be grown uh, even in a blight season like this last season and it produces a very good crop nonetheless. So it's becoming very popular as a very tasty potato variety and is a firm favourite with many of our customers. We have yet another one called Keefley. Now Keefley is a salad potato. It's one which has a very fine taste and it works well uh, eaten cold in a salad or else eaten as a new potato. Uh, so it has a, a good new potato flavour throughout the summer season and we recommend it for those that like to put in a row, start digging it in end of June or in July and then continuing to harvest. Uh, every time you need potatoes just go out and dig another plant. Uh, it'll go through until September giving you a heavier crop with larger potatoes still with a very good flavour. The Sharper Resistance is actually bred into the potato from a wild potato or even from several wild potatoes and they have got genes within them which specify resistance to the blight. So these are actually wild from initially South America. Uh, these have grown up with blight and they have evolved resistance to combat the blight in a natural situation so we've transferred these to domesticated potato so that the varieties that we've got now can be bred with blight resistance. So we're really talking about genes. It is about genetics and it's about breeding by transfer of pollen from a resistant variety, a resistant wild species into uh, a domesticated potato. The Sharpo potatoes are naturally bred, we would say the conventional breeding, that means that it is about pollen transfer, uh, formation of hybrids, uh, just as you would breed any other kind of plant to try to improve it, to improve yield, to improve disease resistance. So it's not about GM. Uh, GM blight resistant potatoes are being produced these days. Uh, we do not uh, do our breeding in that way.